What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna talk about judo versus wrestling uh, for taking down bigger dudes. Okay, so let me read you guys a comment from um, one of the boys uh, from Captain Kirk 7513. Uh, I put a comment in the comment section for my video that I made uh, that was titled Wrestling Beats Judo for MMA. So let me read this to you guys. Okay, quick question. Since you train in both wrestling and judo, would you say that one grappling art is better suited for taking down bigger guys than the other? I'm not talking about street fighting or any of that. I was always training as one of the smaller guys in my judo dojo against bigger guys though. And the fascination to accomplish that stuck with me. Uh, judo offers foot sweeps, which appear to be very helpful in taking on bigger guys. On the other hand, Cain Velasquez was always dominating heavyweights with his wrestling. Uh, do you have an opinion on judo versus wrestling while fighting a bigger opponent? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. So let's let me just take a look at this. Oh, by the way, the video in the background is just Daniel Cormier. Um, he was always small for a heavyweight, short, right? And he was always fighting taller dudes. And well, okay, maybe not in that video, not in that specific scene right there. Uh, but most of his opponents were taller than him, and he was taking them down um, easily. So the short answer is actually, and, and it hurts me to say this, but it's actually wrestling. Um, and But there's a little bit of, um, of, of nuance here. Of, you know, it's not just, it's not black and white. And I would say wrestling, but slightly for a couple of reasons, okay? So with wrestling, the thing is, if you're fighting a taller opponent, it's going to be so much easier to just shoot for it, like to get in on his legs and his hips. And wrestling emphasizes, uh, you know, attacking the legs and controlling the hips and, of course, the elbows. So you have a big advantage there. Now, we're talking about wrestling versus wrestling. And even if you were to, let's say, um, you know, work with a judo guy, okay, let's say judo versus judo. But you were allowed to grab the legs. The guy was taller. Like from my experience, it was it was relatively easy as well to you know get into his legs, or you just wait till he attacks and then you just grab his legs, <laughs> which you can't do anymore. So, and and yeah, so when guys are taller, it's it's a lot easier just to you know to to shoot in on them because like you're 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 already closer to their legs and their hips. You know, just because they're taller, so it's it's a little bit more there, and it takes them a lot more time to to sprawl out, right? And so definitely wrestling has the edge there. But now I want to read you guys a couple of things. Like I took, uh, I had to think about this a lot because at first I was like judo because judo does have a lot more tools. It has the foot sweeps. It has the kazushi. It has like it's very complete. Mind you, we're talking about uh, the the old judo, old school judo, where you used to be able to grab the legs, that is even, I would say, even more complete in terms of, you know, techniques and all. So, uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. I would have, you know, and if we were talking about old school judo, I would have said old school judo. Like, maybe, maybe has, like, an edge for taking down bigger dudes because you could grab the legs as well. But now, the thing with judo is that you can't grab the legs. They change the rules, and, you know, there's a lot of... Um, they came up with some a lot of excuses when it, uh, when it comes to that, like the Olympic Committee uh, or whoever was you know on the board or whatever. But essentially, the Japanese were losing. <laughs> they were getting taken down. Uh, they, get, they were getting double leg by I forgot. I think it was maybe Americans, the Russians. But yeah, and then they changed the rules. Said it looked like too much like wrestling. But how is it that judo can look like wrestling when wrestling doesn't even have a gi? It's anyways, but. You know, they could say what they want, but uh, okay, let me let me just get back to this. So here's the thing. Judo has more techniques. The principles are taught in a very clear manner. Okay, it's a lot more refined. It emphasizes kazushi. So kazushi is off-balancing your opponent. A lot more than wrestling. Okay? And judo has perfect ashiwaza, which includes leg sweeps. Ashiwaza means feet technique foot technique okay it's not just leg sweeps there's there's uh there's a lot of techniques like for example uchimara that's actually a leg technique right and or taiyotoshi that's that's like feet technique wait is it yeah i'm pretty sure it is <laughs> uh 
Okay, and and so wrestling, so th those things makes it so that judo is just has that extra layer of complexity to it that makes it superior in um, in terms of uh, sophistication and for takedowns. Okay, than wrestling. But the thing is, at the highest levels, the wrestlers, they understand this as well. It depends on, on you know, what country, what club, the coach and all that. But they have this as well. But it's not emphasized as much. But at the highest levels, the guys, they understand Kazushi. They know how to leg sweep. They know how to do hip tosses, arm, for, arm throws and all that, you know. But let me just get back to what I was saying. Now, wrestling, it tends to be more uh, straightforward when you start out, right? I mean, we're, you're looking at single legs, double legs, high crotch. That's, you know, basically it in a nutshell. I, I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm really like simplifying it, but like that's that's what a lot of people tend to focus on. And a lot of people think about when they when they think about wrestling. Um, and here's the thing with wrestling is that it's actually easier to pick up at the beginning. Uh, you make progress really fast. Okay. But then it slows down and then it's, it seems harder for guys who are pure wrestlers. Okay. To pick up like all this, all the, the principles of, you know, Kazushi, leg sweeping, hip toss, like they, they do pick it up, but it, it takes a little bit longer after that. Whereas with judo, it's a little bit different. Judo, it's actually... It's actually harder to, to learn at the beginning because there's so much that they uh, that you're working on at the same time. So you're working on your kazushi, you're working on your leg sweeps, your leg, you're working on your hand technique, you're working on your hip throws, you know, you're working on um, your balance, you're working on like a lot of things, a lot of things. And of course, there's the gi, so there's a lot of pulling, grouping strategy involved and all. So it takes longer. But the thing with with uh, with judo is that once you get to a certain level and you understand all this and it's it's uh it's very integrated into your body like the world is your oyster after that at least the grappling world because everything else comes very easily like from my experience and from what i've seen guys who do judo when they do wrestling afterwards like it's it's they pick it up very easily whereas guys who wrestle right but then let's say they go try judo like they're a little bit lost because it it all of a sudden, the gi just the grips they, that 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 mainly I think throws them off in a very big way, and then well they can't grab the legs. But even back in the day when they could grab the legs, um, I think it's a harder transition from wrestling to judo. You know that's just uh, that's just my take on it, and from what I've seen, and yeah. So, but you know, at the at at the higher levels, the judo guys and the wrestling guys like they're they're they they both they both have very complete understanding of the art and science of you know takedowns right they they know what they're doing they they understand kazushi they understand positioning they understand leverage and all that so they they understand um well all the stuff that you essentially the fundamentals okay of of grappling <clears throat> now what would be the ultimate right in my opinion you would need to do judo you would need to do freestyle wrestling and you would need to do Greco. Then, wow, you would be the, in my opinion, the ultimate takedown artist, right? You would be very, very complete. Uh, but that's for another video. But what I'm saying here now is that I give a slight edge to, to wrestling, okay? Because now for, for Adam, no, sorry, Captain Kirk 7513, the, you know, the, the gentleman who asked me this question, Try this. Next time you do judo randori, ask your opponent, hey, let's uh, let's do an old school judo where we could grab the legs. And you're gonna see it changes everything. And if especially like do this when you have a taller guy, like you get in on his legs so much, so much easier. And like I'm a little bit you know mixed up in all of this because I, I practice both and also like if um, if I was uh, if I was, let's say, doing old school judo, then of course I would, you know, I would alternate between judo stuff and wrestling stuff. And even when I do wrestling, then I, a lot of, uh, I use a lot of leg sweeps and leg attacks, uh, you know, like uh, ashiwaza, right? Like feet against feet kind of thing. 
And, and so I'll use my judo, but then I'll use my wrestling at the same time. So I, I alternate and I, I, I take what I need when I need it, in, depending on um, what kind of positions I'm in. So I, I love them both. I think that to be a complete grappler, like, yeah, that would be the go- way to go. You know, judo, freestyle wrestling. And if you could add Greco, man, that adds another dimension and another level of depth and understanding to your game and that's insane but all that to say that guys i think wrestling is superior for taking down bigger opponents just because now maybe old school judo uh, you know i think i think it would have been very very tight so i'm not sure about that i'd have to think about it more but for now that's my that's my take on it so let me let me know what you guys think do you guys think that wrestling is better for taking down bigger dudes or judo. And then of course, tell me why. So if you like this video, guys, share the video, try to grow this channel. And with your help, it's gonna happen. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.